Welcome to Disney A, the Canadian-themed Disney travel podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Brandon. And I'm Krista. I'm still pointing with my thumb. Yes, you are. No one can see this no. except me. Yeah. <laughs> how's uh, how's your week going, Brandon? It's pretty pretty good. We're, we're counting down the days till our vacation, mm-hmm. so, you know, we're, yeah. we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting this is going to be our last. Uh, we are going to have one episode, and then we're going to have a break, and then we'll be caught up when we're back. Yeah, I like. We might want to try and record some kind of like evergreen, like mini episode before that, but I don't know if we're gonna have time. We're gonna we're gonna figure something out. So no, this isn't our last episode this, before we go. This is our last one with news though, because our next one will be while we're gone, and then there's a yeah, week that we're, we're gonna, not sure about. We're gonna try something anyway. We're gonna but try something. You know what? Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Eh? Also. Ho- Happy Fourth of July. That's it's true. Coming up so we're recording well. this on Saturday, which is Canada Day. But by the time you are listening, it will not be Saturday anymore. <laughs> It'll be very close to Fourth of July. It'll be very close to Fourth of July. Mm-hmm. Um, and Canada Day, it's the first time in a while, actually. Canada Day has also morphed into Happy Free Agent Frenzy Day. That's true. It used to always be on July 1st, and mm-hmm. then COVID kind of yeah, threw that yeah, yeah. off. And it's, it's the first time in a long time that uh, NHL free agents are able to sign. So what? that's my nerd thing. Uh, oh. Jumping ahead. Yeah, was... Oh, man. Okay, I'll run to catch up. My nerd thing is I am not in school right now. I am done. It is summer vacation. Well, I've... I mean, it is Saturday, so I hope you're not in school well, right okay, now. Fair. That would be weird. But I have read two and a half <laughs> books. Only two and a half. I've only been home for a day. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot. Of that that that. See, Actually, technically three because I like finished one and then read two full ones oh, I and you then meant started a new three one. Three days. It's been technically three days. The, okay, I've been off work for three days. I wasn't home for. Uh, a long time, that's yeah. true. You yes. have been busy. You're yeah. you're a busy lady. Yes, so. always. Um, but yes, technically three books because I did half, two books, and then a half. Mm. But still. It's a lot of reading. And it's probably quick books, though. They weren't uh, they were War and Peace no, or no, nothing no, like no. that. No, no, no. I read that but... during school. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Brandon, what are you drinking since you're throwing us all out of the order here? Oh, I'm just all over the place. No, I got it. You made me a nice little uh, gin peach concoction of some sort. Yep. Keeping you hydrated. Well, I, it is summertime. That's important. It was very hot today, by the way. It's true. It is true. It, it was nice. It, like yeah. it was Canada today, and it was nice and hot, and we enjoyed some sunshine yeah. while listening to, to free agent <laughs> free agent coverage. It was very Canadian. Yeah, actually. Well, yeah, it was a very Canadian day. Yes. Hey. <laughs> um, I also have a concoction. You made it for me. I don't know what's in it. You don't actually. No. So, um, vanilla vodka. Mm. Uh, Watermelon bubbly. Ooh. And some chopped up BC cherries because <gasps> we needed some Canadian oh, content on Canada Day. Nice. Yes, go BC cherries. The oh, best, that's cool. The best cherries mm-hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. Do not accept substitutes from California. It's BC cherries. BC cherries are the best. I like all cherries, but BC cherries are no, the best. No, it's BC cherries. No, just bust. okay. All right. That's exciting. Thank you. It's mm. very nice. I, I, I literally didn't know because my cup is like you can't see through it or anything. No, it this was a surprise very... to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it tastes good. I said it tasted good. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm glad to know what's in it now. And I'm glad you can make it for me again. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, well, we need BC cherries to That's be true. me to make That's it true. again. So I don't know. <laughs> Wait all year for No, them. No promises. <laughs> Um, okay, and also we have a new Secret Invasion episode. <gasps> what did you think? Spoiler free, gut reaction, go. I'm sad there's only six episodes I of know. this. And I'm sad that they may or may not be like pulling back on making original content for Disney Plus. The ability to make a series. Mm-hmm. Within the MCU mm-hmm. in a like completely different genre. Yep. Is absolutely fantastic. Yep. And I like this episode even more than episode one. And this is like rising the charts in, in my favorite really? Marvel shows. Yeah. It's not very popular right now. I know. So, yeah. And then that's like. Yeah. It's all part of the same problem. <sighs> I really liked it. I agree. I like this episode even better. I'm really liking it like working together though. I don't know. Six episodes is not very many. They, they went full on spy thriller. Totally. And that's all I ask for these, like, quote unquote experimental MCU Disney Plus things. Like, 
Werewolf by Night was a full on horror true piece. Mm-hmm. It was black and white, like a monster maybe feature. Even if they stop doing or slow down on doing the full shows, maybe they'll be able to do featurettes. Do, do little little do little like specials. By Night. I could I could be convinced of that, but I I like the room to breathe. That so this do is, I. Like we're talking about having, how being like, worried about six episodes. So yeah, I, and like spoiler free, so I can't talk about what I don't yeah. like. But that's okay. <laughs> okay, all right. We will have an episode when the whole thing is done where we talk about what we don't like. Mm-hmm. And don't you worry, mm-hmm. and also what we do. Um, okay, and before we head to the news, you said you have you have something you have something you have a plan. I do. I do have a plan. Um, so. I, I I went on our little podcast uh, uploady website. Yes. And and noticed that we've actually been getting like a fair number of listeners yep. recently. And we haven't been getting reviews, so we can't read a review. Right. Review us. It'd be good. <laughs> um, they can't see you pointing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but what we can see is the IP address. Now th- this is not a this is not super creepy. Uh, well, it is a little creepy, but it's the internet, so you can, the internet is creepy in general. We get to know where our listeners are f- kind of from. Oh, g- okay. Like the general vicinity. Yeah, not like your actual address. No, no, or no. It's like there's no personal identification. I just want to like preface this. We're not like we don't we can't. I don't know. Find where you live or anything. No, no, no. Just the general vicinity. Like so which country, which city? I kind of, I kind of want to talk about where one of our listeners live. Oh, and okay. And like what I looked up. Oh, okay. Well, okay. This is cool. You did not tell me this. Yeah. Okay. Th- th- this is a surprise for you. Okay. Um, so, we actually had a fair number of listeners from Beverly, Massachusetts, <laughs> and I, I, I don't know how you found <laughs> us. If you're listening right now, welcome. Hi, people from Beverly. That's uh, fantastic. So I looked up where is Beverly, Massachusetts, and uh, is it in Massachusetts? It, well, it's in Massachusetts. <laughs> it's like a New England uh, beachside community. <gasps> oh, I'm jealous. Um, and they they probably don't like this, but it's notable for being like very slightly north of Salem. <laughs> <gasps> really? Oh my god, it's on my bucket list to go to Salem. Yeah, so it's... Can we go to Salem and stop in Beverly? It's very cool, it's on the coast, and uh, they probably were nicer to their witches, I don't know. Can can we go and stop there on our way to Salem, or all the way from Salem? I, I would love to, to visit <laughs> New England coast, like, that part of... of the states looks very. I'd wonderful. have some problems though. There's a lot of seafood eating it, though. It's in like Stephen King country, like yes. Uh, and I, when I saw the the name of of this town city, I thought, well, like, did he name it like his character like, from, from It? From it? I, like, yeah, I maybe. don't know. Maybe. Like, okay, if you're listening to from Beverly, do you know the answer to this? <laughs> and if so, let us know. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, Beverly, Massachusetts. So we, we had a bunch of listeners from there for that's some really reason. That's really cool. Uh, maybe VPNs or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's really cool. A little little coastal New England town. Probably have some good chowder. No, no, no. New England clam chowder. No, I no, I know what it is, but not the way you said it. Yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. I like that. Was a segment. Simpsons reference, by the yeah, way. No, okay, yeah, no, I got, I got, I got. <laughs> I just was, I was just, I stand by my nope. Mm, mm. <laughs> that was really cool. Good idea. I like it. So we're going to... Pepper those in. Like, pepper those in, yeah. Yeah, and I like it. Awesome. Like you would pepper some uh, pepper on top Other of your New England clam chowder. chowder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a sagui. That was a sagui. Nice sagui. Mm. I'm going to be less um, suave in my sagui, and we're just going to head straight to the news. Disney A News Update. First of all, do you have news? Well, uh, Indiana Jones came out this weekend. Yes, and Elemental came out the weekend before. We yeah, uh, we we didn't talk about that. No, um, I don't think a lot of people talked about that, which is maybe the problem with Elemental. You know what? But everything I've heard of people who have seen it like rave about it. I've heard the animation is utterly fantastic, yes. and the plot is meh, so so. I which has been a problem. With- so one thing I've heard about Pixar, they say that. Hey, you know how all the people were, like, complaining about, oh, it's taking itself self too seriously, and you don't need to worry about, like, intergenerational trauma or anything like that? Just tell us a happy movie? Well, apparently this told us a happy movie. Uh, but people so aren't it, showing up. So it wasn't like, 
what if elements have feelings? They just don't have feelings. Like no, I think they do. I think it's just, just like, like a not, yeah. I don't not know deep feelings. The vibe I'm getting from the trailers, we haven't seen it, but the vibe I'm getting from the trailers is it's very like Romeo and Juliet esque with probably less murder and suicide. It, I mean that that is positive, <laughs> I suppose. So anyway, I don't know. I haven't seen it. I still want to see it. I'm excited to hear all the fantastic things about the animation, but. Yeah. Um. What about the, Indiana Jones? Uh, Indiana Jones is, a, apparently, okay. Mm, good. Question mark. I don't know. We have not seen it. No, but unfortunately, we've heard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard like it's 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 better than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but that's a well, low bar. So I don't know. I, I, I yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to see that one too. I was kind of hoping we'd get to see it in theaters. It's not looking you're, good. You're one of the few that is excited to see that because it's like Indiana Jones hype meter is pretty low. Yeah, these days that's sad since. though. I it's think, a little sad. I think they were relying on Put nostalgia too much. Put respect on Indiana Jones. When fan. they first, like when the teasers and stuff like that first hit, it was crazy. I'll say that the uh, the trailers and stuff look pretty good. Yeah. And. and uh, Phoebe Waller Bridge looks way better than Shia LaBeouf, so uh, <laughs> I, I mean that's not saying that a was, whole lot. Again, but, with that Kingdom's yeah, low, low bar there. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it'll be fun. I, I fingers crossed. Yeah. I, really, I really like Indiana Jones. All three Indiana Jones movies are mm-hmm. very good. All three. All three of them. The three of them. Maybe there's going to be four. Maybe now we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Okay, I've got Parks news. Are you ready? No. The big news. Rogers the Musical has opened at DCA. Uh, I could I can... watch that show all day. Oh, I was going to, I thought you were to break into song. I was like ready to join you. No? Okay, that's fine. No, no. Um, I, I can't hit that note. I'm I sorry. I can do this all. No, I can't either. Uh, so, we have uh, the, deb- the debut of Rogers the Musical brought uh, quite a few festive food offerings, and they're really playing they off... Have food, too. Probably merch as well. Oh, I'm sure. I hope, oh, they, ha- I hope they have, like, a like fake a playbill. Play- yes! Yes, oh. that was you got what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I hope they do, like... So, it's supposed to last through summer, but, if, like, if all If you've never been fingers, to Broadway, mm-hmm. they have like legit yep. playbills and they give it to everyone uh, if you've never been to Broadway. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Actual I've, Broadway. I've been to I Broadway. Know. I've been to Broadway across Canada nah, like it numerous count. times. No, it doesn't count. Does not count. Um, they didn't but, give out the like legit playbills no, even. So. Anyway, okay, um, okay, everything sorry. I hear is um, confirmed through summer. All fingers are crossed that it's going to stay longer because apparently it's like quite the production. And actually good? It, everything um, that I've read is like, it's a really fun time. So we've talked before about some of our favorite YouTubers. And um, Peter and Kitra from um, Ordinary, Ordinary Adventures, Adventures yeah. they tweeted that they're like, that is better than it has any right to be. Like, it's actually good. Because well, so, it's like not taking like, itself to, too seriously. To put it in perspective, it's literally a joke made real. Mm-hmm. And... Like, it wasn't ever meant to be a real Broadway musical. Right. But they've made it into a real Broadway musical. One thing that's musical. really cool... Yeah. I mean, obviously we haven't seen it. I am going to find a copy and watch it. I'm sure sure it's somewhere on YouTube here in the next week or so. Fingers crossed. I would love to a see it. A good quality, yeah. Um, but I, if by some miracle it's still there when I go in, like, I don't know, almost a year, it won't be. But if it was, I definitely insist on watching this one thing that i really like about it though is it's a totally creative and innovative take on what to do with that space it is still a show it is this weird bridging between like avengers and hollywood which is kind of what it needs there it's like almost a perfect fit it's going to appeal to across the board i think this is brilliant if they you know can keep it in i (laughs) I when I saw Rogers the musical and all the all the memes in in mm-hmm. Hawkeye, I was like that would fit perfectly in California. Totally, Adventure. we talked and, about that repeatedly. And I I never thought it would actually happen. Neither did I. And when the casting list came out, I kept we kept saying that sounds like they're doing Rogers the musical. I, and I was like, well, but there's, they, no they, there's no way. There's no way. But they actually did it. Okay, so and now that it's supposed to be good. It's. 
they ca- they can't keep it as a limited engagement. It fits too perfectly. Well, I they can keep it for a limited engagement, but make the limited engagement like, like a year. Three years. <laughs> or three. That's fine. I don't know. So if you have means to go, go and support this so they keep doing cool, innovative things. Because we don't want them to play safe all the time. No. Like, we don't need another Frozen Yeah, show I'm sure it was great, but that already exists. Do something funky here. Yeah. The, it, it's... <laughs> It's so perfect that I just, so I, any, I love that it exists. Anyway, that is the big thing. Good reviews. Sounds fun. There's, but yeah, apparently they, they put so much into it. Even the casting and stuff that I find it hard to believe it would just be for a couple months. Yeah. But uh, so the debut is also lining up with some, um, 4th of July stuff. So a bunch of food came out. There's like an apple pie pizza. There's patriotic punch. There's hard, blue hard cherry tea. Red, white, and blue shake, and the shawarmitsa. <laughs> so they actually have a new food booth, brand new. It's the Shawarma Palace 2, T-O-O, like, as well. Yep. Um, and it's just outside of the Hyperion. That's the only place you can get the shawarma pizza. Mm. Or the shawarmitsa. Or the shawarma. Shawarma pizza. That thing. It is not available at the one <sighs> in Avengers Campus. Other news. Indiana Jones has shown up in Disneyland, um, mostly hanging out in Adventureland, um, just generally. Does he have a dial? He, I mean, probably. Just like a bar of soap. Maybe, and, and yeah. This is my it's destiny. <laughs> he, oh, that's a bad joke. The, okay, only for a limited time. He's walking around with a map, compass. He's like talking to random people and stuff like that. That would that would make my life like. It he, actually gets better. Okay. So he's walking around Adventureland. He goes up onto like tropical imports and stuff like that. But sometimes when he's wandering around, he just like gets in line in Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah." He's like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" <laughs> and like Sol- in Sola character, said, this is a cool t- yes, tour, yeah. yes. In character, he'll like start talking about Mara, and it's the whole thing. Uh, that might be yeah. your best thing. Um, yeah. So you y- you got Chewbacca in Galaxy's Edge that like makes your life. Mm-hmm. Hanging out with Indiana Jones in in the lineup for <laughs> the Indiana Jones adventure would be, yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. Really good, right? Okay, okay. So I will tell you that, um, I, so like this is all coming out right now for... Oh, it's very new. Yeah, yes. for, for, for all this. So th- a lot of hype going on right now. Let's take a little bit of a downturn though. Uh-oh. So we mentioned before that Oogie Boogie Bash t- um, <laughs> tickets are going on sale. Huh. And we're like, hey, those will go on sale here like t- this week. Um, kind of. It kind of happened. They went on sale and everything just er- everything just crashed. So there were technical difficulties. So ticket sales for the Oogie Boogie mm. Bash were completely halted. This is going to last at least until July 6th. They said they will make an announcement on July 6th on when tickets will go on sale. So, of course, people are like, going to be ready to buy july 6th in case they say which they may very well do now they're on sale now it's a victim of its own success oogie boogie bash is by far the most popular after hours event and that's really cool because it's just california adventure which was like Mm -hmm. the black sheep park um and yeah, I don't know. Uh, I would love to go to uh, to Oogie Boogie Bash, and I don't blame people for crashing the website. They just need a better... Well, they need a better system, so that doesn't need to happen. Better website. Yes. Um, other news is uh, about more... Uh, speaking of DCA, want to go talk positive again? Yeah, let's get positive. I like Oogie Boogie Bash crashing the website is still a little bit positive, because it's just like super popular and cool that's true that is true silver linings yeah I okay like, all like right. maybe don't hire twitter engineers to run your maybe i I'm... oh <laughs> twitter yeah. Yeah. that's just an aside for mm-hmm. me um but yes uh construction has gone vertical on san francisco gate bridge oh they're getting close eh the pylons are the big towers um they will they, they are now there and uh, yep so basically these are the supports for the tall, I don't know what you call those. The it's like the golden the gate, gate arches. Towers. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's the supports. They're up. They're up. They're ready to go, which means they're just gonna show up one day. I I probably need... what did we say it was July twenty sixth or something like that. I need to go give Baymax a fist bump so bad, <laughs> so bad. 
Oh, not July 26. It'll be before that because June 26 was the day that it was closed. It was closed on 626 day, which is Stitch Day, in case you didn't know that. I did not, but yeah. that makes sense. Because he's Experiment 626. Yeah. Um, so they had a bunch of Stitch stuff going on. I like that they're embracing that now, actually. It's kind of fun. Smart. It's yeah, like so smart. May, May the 4th, yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Keep yeah, go, just, go for it. Just, just go for and things like that. And it's like they're really playing up like the Hawaiian luau stuff when that happens, because, of course, it takes place in Hawaii. So anyway, they embrace that. Oh, does and then, it? I didn't know that. You knew that. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, on that day, the they gate also like was, Elvis. If they you didn't do. Know. Yeah. The gate was closed, and that's when the towers went up. Mm. So soon, very soon. Um, yeah. So that's the, the news is all fairly popular, very popular, very positive. Good stuff. I think so. All right. Would you try the shawarmaitza? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's head that's to like victory pizza. Victory. Um, apparently it doesn't, like, look great, but it's, like, shockingly good. Well, I mean, that just describes shawarma in general, <laughs> <true>. right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our main topic, we didn't even intro. No, I, I, I honestly have no idea what we're talking about right um, now. No, this is when we're going to be judgy. Oh, I, I'm like that on exactly. a daily basis, so it's fine. So let's head to it and let's make it a surprise. At the park. Okay, so at the end of our last week's episode, right, mm-hmm. we were talking about how you're going to be cynical and judgy. Well, we, we both are. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell also, me, like, tell me something I don't and, like, know. Yeah, okay. Watch your innovation. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go through each land in Disneyland, each Disneyland land. Uh-huh. Disneyland land. Oh, yes. We did talk about this. Yes. Okay. We've talked before about our favorite things in each land. We're going to... The news was fairly positive. Let's be a little bit more negative. Okay. What is your least favorite thing in each land? Hmm. It can be anything. It can be a food item. It can be an attraction. It can be a detail. It can be like... Oh, I... There's no just... There's like... As long as you can justify it, there's no parameters I, on this. I'm, I'm going to make some enemies today. <laughs> Is it going to be me? Am I going to be one of the enemies? Yeah, pro- probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're both going to say our least favorite thing. I'm probably going to go first most of the time because you're meaner than me. Yeah, I'm going to make some enemies today. <laughs> okay, are you ready? This is just Disneyland. Just Disneyland. Next week's episode is DCA. Oh, okay. Okay? Oh, All right, here we go. Ready? Mm. We're going to start easy. You probably have lots to say. Main Street, USA. Do you want me to go first? Okay. Main Street, USA, my least favorite thing about it is watching the line for Starbucks outside. Right? Very good. Yeah. And very specific. Yes. I love it. I'm going to I'm gonna be specific in all these because I, like, love everything in Disneyland. So, like, I have to be specific to find the least favorite things. Um, before it was Starbucks, I remember, like not Starbucks brand coffee and a cinnamon bun and stuff like that. Just. And I just don't like that everything is Starbucks. I get it's affiliated and stuff like that. Like, I understand. And I'm not anti-Starbucks. I'm not anti-coffee at all. I'm just like, you can do your own thing. It, and I bet before it was actually Starbucks, it wasn't quite as busy. It wasn't. I betcha. It's it, it's kind of a cult. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, okay, I, so anyway. I... I I, I super duper agree with that, and I love how specific it is. Yeah. I'm going to get a little more specific. Even more than that. Okay, go for it. I I don't I don't care for the horse poop on the ground. <laughs> they're the, so... The, the Main Street vehicles. But there's a bag. There's the, almost the, never. The, there's almost never, but I've seen it. And I have not been at Disneyland very often. And so. they're so quick about cleaning it up. Yes. Yeah, well, it's horse poop. Okay. That... That's, but I love the horses. That's horse bleep. <laughs> but, but I love the horses, and so that's. I it. do like the I I do like the horses. They're not Clydesdales. They should be. <laughs> I love Clydesdales, but yeah, no. Uh, the the, the trippy trappy horses yeah. and they're poop, pooping on the street. <laughs> um, eh. you're just gonna okay okay. The, the, yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, let's go. Let's go easy next. Okay. Tomorrowland. My least favorite thing is that it, it 
it's been forgotten. It's just left. It's just I thought left you left. were going specific. Oh, um, no, it needs love and okay. it needs actually an entire retheming. We've talked about this many times. And so the general lack of cohesive theme, the general lack of cohesive theme is my issue with Tomorrowland because that goes into things like wasted space. Yeah. That goes into things like the kinetic energy we've talked about before. Mm. Although with the subs being open again, that does help a lot. Oh, the, like, that makes a huge difference. Absolutely night and day. Um, as long as you're facing that way. <laughs> being in Tomorrowland with the subs yeah, open. Yeah, totally. Sure, for sure. Totally. And, and I'm not even a big fan of the sub ride itself. It's it's fine. But seeing those move, it... it it feels more alive. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So um, I've said before, we've said before, they need to go mid-century, modern, kind of like space agey, kind of space race kind of era. Yeah, you, you, and your fifties, sixties, yeah, like you don't even need to change sci-fi. Totally, kind of thing, yeah. you don't even need to change most of the attractions. You just like change the facade a little bit, but you do things with like the skyline stuff. It's the lack of a cohesive theme. Is my problem? Is the worst thing about Tomorrowland? And I like Tomorrowland. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to kind of play off that a little bit. Mm -hmm. The worst thing about Tomorrowland is the rotting husk of the people mover. I almost said that. Uh, Literally, I almost said that. Y you, you got places where you see the supports and the track and um, where it used to run through different attractions. Yeah. And it's, it's all the same thing, but like... It's so much worse that it's just Closing left down there. the people mover was yeah. horrific <laughs> for well, Tomorrowland. And honestly, if and, you're then just I'll, get rid of it. Yeah. It's the standing it's the it's the left sitting there. That's I have a problem. But it with. was designed to go through so yes. many things. It's like it, it runs Agreed. through Autopia, it goes up and down around the monorail, mm -hmm. it's it's through Space Mountain. That's so cool. And that mm -hmm. would be super cool. But it's not working anymore, and it's being left there. And it's literally a rotting husk. So yeah. every time I see it, I'm just reminded of the fact that Tomorrowland has been left to die. Yes, that that and is my problem. With that it. and the uh, Carousel of Progress are just okay. One I'm thing. Glad, I'm glad one you did tomorrow. I'm, I'm glad you did Tomorrowland first because yeah, I did. I did. That's, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next, Fantasyland. Uh, My oh, okay. no no you can go you can go I've gone a couple times okay I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the uh, the lineup for Peter Pan oh okay mm -hmm. um Peter Pan's a pretty cool ride the lineup is horrific I should have gone first oh because I was gonna say the line for Peter Pan. <laughs> uh, well I'm glad I went first then <laughs> no it's okay okay let me just think of a uh, plan B here. Oh, there's a bottleneck. There's like a terrible, crowded bottleneck. Yeah. You know which one I'm talking about mm -hmm. there? When you're coming around and it's just there's it's, all the strollers parking. It's like parking coming Frontierland. Yeah. And the stro they have stroller parking and like the Red Rose Tavern and it, it's just like, no. And like yeah. Casey Jr.'s Q entrance is there. Yeah. Uh, so. Not, not the best design. No. Well, it was never supposed to. Never path, thought it was going to yeah. be that popular, right? right? So, um, I was actually going to say the Peter Pan queue because it's a very long um, wait time. And I love the ride, but the queue itself is quite boring until you get into it. And then it's fine, and I like the little carvings on when, the thing. When you're in the wood section, it's okay. But it's such but a long queue to get like, in there. It's, it's guaranteed 40 minutes. Generally. At all times, plus. Like, that's mm -hmm. minimum, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Even right. if even if you rope drop it now because there's early access, mm -hmm. you don't save any time, and uh, it's just like boring switchbacks the whole time. Yeah, out in the it's sun. Just not ideal for a queue. So and it's slow loading, so yeah. it feels yeah. it feels worse than but it even is. But I really ends. like that ride, and so it makes me sad. Um, but yes, basically that bottleneck there mm -hmm. is is can be intimidating. Yeah, there's there is crowd control problems totally. in Fantasy Line for sure. Let's keep it classic. Um, I started to, let's have you start too. So you're going to start this one. Frontierland. What is your least favorite thing about Frontierland? Frontierland. Do you want me to go? Cause I have one. I, I, hmm. Yeah, you should go. I, I, I need to think about this one. <laughs> I have a very personal, very specific one. Okay. 
Pocahontas used to walk around Frontierland and she doesn't anymore. And I get that they don't want to be like embracing Pocahontas because oops, we made that movie. Mm -hmm. But like, I love her. (laughs) I miss that she used to walk around and doesn't anymore. Yeah. Have like a meet and greet or something. I don't care. Just have her once in a while. It doesn't even need to be when I'm there. I just want to know she exists still. I don't like when we're just going to sweep stuff under the rug. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's emblematic of that. But, yes. So, very specific, very personal. That's it. Okay. Um, I don't like that they dialed back on the Golden Horseshoe. Mmm. That is an excellent one. I, yeah. No, that is really good. Frontierland's pretty cool, but it's also pretty small. Yeah. And, like, you got Big Thunder, and you got, like, part of the Rivers of America, which is mm-hmm. a, a big part of, of Frontierland. Totally. Land. And you got the Golden Horseshoe, which is, like, the main dining Yep, attraction. and the shooting gallery. And the shooting gallery, which is... Yeah, no, I get it. It's, like, a little... Yeah, tiny. Neither here nor there, nor there. But, like, they should embrace having the Golden Horseshoe as, like, a saloon and, like, have it playing piano and, like, they saloon girls. To. And they used to. They used to. But they, they pulled back yeah. from that. And, and actually, the one group that used to play there all the time is now members of them are at Knott's. Mm. Mm-hmm. That group See, I went and saw. Knott's does an Old West town right. That's that's the one thing that they have over Disney. Is the Old West for, town. For theming and everything. Their Old their old West ghost town is, is fantastic. And they have, mm-hmm. like, people acting. And they have the mayor. Yeah. And, and, like, the saloon girls and totally. all that. So, yeah. Okay, Golden Horseshoe. I actually am on board for this. They need to do, they need to amp it up in the Golden Horseshoe. They need to, they used to have like the dueling pian- pianis, I guess you said. I, but I used to like. piano. Um, I said uh, piani. Another Simpsons reference. Another right? Simpsons <laughs> reference. I'm on a Simpsons Wait, kick, is that Family Guy? No, that's, that's Simpsons. Simpsons. Right. Yeah, that's a Halloween Simpsons oh, episode, Oh, yeah, that's actually. right. Okay, yeah. Um, also, but I liked um, Billy Hill and the Hillbillies. Mm. That's the one that I remember from, like, late 90s, early 2000s, sometime they in there. They are at Knott's, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. where well, a couple of them are, anyway. Yeah, they yeah. Exist. The name, anyway. The, yeah. And, uh, um, they could be all different. The, um, they were. Um, many of them changed, yeah. right? But stuff like that, like, really lean into the show. Mm-hmm. Um, do like You could do it as a full dinner theater, even. So, right now, um, I, I do think they're lacking in that. Bring in some entertainment. Totally. I like it. Adventureland. Okay. You got one? I, I got one. All right. Um, this is one I'm going to make some enemies on. Am I going to have to hit you? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you're one of the enemies. Um, very specific again. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm going to brace myself right here. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's dull wet. I don't like pineapple. <gasps> it's the worst thing. Like have, that is not the worst thing. You just don't like it. What is wrong have, with you? Have different flavors. Like they have different flavors they, sometimes. Just seasonally, just just have I've, regular different flavors. Have like an orange flavor. Highway. Have a have a lemon flavor. A tropical highway. Have a watermelon flavors. flavor. Regularly. Okay. Dole Whip <gasps> is too specific. I don't like pineapple. Uh, it's the worst thing in Adventureland. It is not the worst thing in Adventureland. Oh my god. I told you're you I'm going to make some enemies. Yeah, you live with one of them. <laughs> Dole Whip is the best thing. I think I when we were going through the favorite things, I think I said Dole Whip. Yeah, right well, <laughs> different strokes for different folks. Dole Whip is, my, Dole Whip is the worst Dole thing Whip in Adventureland. Dole might be my favorite treat in all of Disneyland. It's the one I look forward to the most. Yeah, well, there's no accounting for taste, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, clearly, because look who I picked. Doesn't even like Dole Whip. Mm-hmm. The worst thing. More for you, then, I guess. I guess. I just want them to have other flavors so I can enjoy it, too, <laughs> because it looks delicious, but I don't like pine. I just don't like pineapple. It tastes It tastes like poison in my mouth. <laughs> so we need to go more seasonally, is what you're saying. Yeah, just... just have regular flavors that are not pineapple. Be less picky. Because we've been there before and they had lemon and you didn't want that either. Uh, <laughs> just Oh no, I think it was cherry. <laughs> no, cherry's gross too. It See, tastes like cough you're syrup. you're picky. It's you. <laughs> BC cherries are good because they, they're real and they're not gross like like the fake cherry flavor that they would put in a Dole Whip. Mm-hmm. You didn't know because you didn't have one because you're picky. Indiana Jones breaking down consistently. I mean, that is pretty terrible. Although, I am excited to see the changes, like the updates, the fixing things up, but it still breaks down a fair bit, and so I'm saying 
the inconsistent running with Indiana Jones is see I went I went back super specific with this one yeah I love Adventureland though remember when we ranked our favorite lands I think Adventureland was like my second favorite land of all time it was pretty good it's so good I almost went bottleneck for this one but then I did fantasy land instead so <laughs> there there is a bottleneck it's a little less because mm-hmm. they took out a tree stump and mm-hmm. it's a little better so yeah. yeah so the inconsistent so Indiana Jones is one of my favorite attractions I love Indiana Jones I'm not saying it's the ride I'm saying it's that it's broken all the time. We we have sat on Indiana Jones broken down, and we've also sat in the queue while Indiana Jones. I've done that down. many a time over and the it's, years. It's mm-hmm. it's not not great. It's not great. Not great. It's, okay, let's go from my second favorite land to my favorite land, New Orleans Square. New Orleans Square, Brandon. What is your least favorite thing in New Orleans Square? If you don't know, I'll go. You you go ahead. I've gone first a couple times now so okay my turn yeah you need to you need to that it's so small because it's the best land they should have more of it and they like lean in the theming more because the theming is is great but it's like this tiny little area Mm -hmm. and so it feels almost like an like an addendum kind of between frontier land and adventure land even like i know i understand it's not connected like it's not actually in between those lands but that's kind of feels like oh these didn't really it, so we're just gonna like do this tiny little area here um it's fantastic it's great the th- stuff they have there that is um is themed beautifully i just want more of it they they do a lot with a little you you got you got some pretty good restaurants in there you got the pirates ride and haunted mansion and haunted mansion you have like, two best rides in disneyland in like new orleans square with i'm actually and so I'm gonna I'm gonna put an addendum on this, with them leaning um, into Tiana's palace. Mm-hmm. I think once they, I mean, I understand that the restaurant was themed to New Orleans Square, and actually Tiana's palace we've mentioned before in the film um, was actually partly designed based on the same sketches for the restaurant and everything like that. So like I get that. I think just they're gonna amp it up a little bit, and that'll help. It's just. What is there is themed, like you said, they do so much with such little space. I just want more space. And I get that's Disneyland's, you know, basic theme in general. But, like, there's room to move a little bit. I'm not saying move over a giant mountain or anything like that. But I'm saying, like, make use of the space you have. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play off that. Oh, okay. And say the worst thing about New Orleans Square is that it's trying to cannibalize Critter Country. I I agree. (laughs) I, that is a problem. I should let you go first because I would just said I agree. Uh, Which is, makes no sense because I said I want to be bigger, but I want to be bigger that I, way. <laughs> I, I, I think that uh, New Orleans Square is very cool, and I, I, I love New Orleans and Cajun food and all that stuff. I, yeah. I, think, I think it should be bigger, but I don't want to lose Critter Country. And- Do you know what I suggest? I think the movement... So right now, the Rivers of America attractions are listed as Frontierland. Mm. I think you move that way. The, the, because the boats, the both Mark Twain and the Columbia could very easily be New yeah. Orleans. Yeah, well, you got a pirate ship and a paddle wheeler, which um, both fit in with New Orleans. Um, but Frontierland is also kind of small then. So, like, yeah. I, uh, it it's... It's a catch twenty two, but I, I don't, I don't love that New Orleans Square is like taking over Splash Mountain. Yeah, I and we know that it hasn't officially done that, but I mean, I, I kind of feel like the writing's on the wall. I don't, I don't care about the retheming, but like, they're they're throwing in some critters in there, so they're gonna maybe yeah maybe they 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 can blur the lines, but I don't know. It you, feels like it's gonna be. A transition piece and that's okay if they just want to keep it a transition piece that's cool our theory is if they do that then you just really embrace instead of critter country becomes poo corner and you just really 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 focus on winnie the pooh and i'd be fine with that um uh, a secondary thing that i don't like is how hard it is to get reservations to blue bite i almost said that <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, we managed it. We did and on we, New Year's Eve, no less. And water, we 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 ended up being squeaky wheel and got waterfront. So um, I wasn't that squeaky. I was just a little squeaky. A little, <laughs> little squeaky. 
you just got to be a little squeaky. Like, a little squeaky. Not, not like rude. You know what? To be fair, let, let's just let's just pause here for a second. To be fair, waterfront at Blue Bayou. Okay, let's talk about this for a second because I've been asked. Mm -hmm. You ask. That's it. Mm -hmm. If it's possible, they will see what they can do, and you might need to wait a little and it, longer. It helps if you're uh, a That's couple. That's the other thing. Yeah. You mm -hmm. have a group of 10 people. It's no, not happening. No, there were never. two of us showing up. Yeah. And it also depends on we came a little early. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't remember when our reservation was. Was it like, let's pretend it was 6 o'clock. We were there at like 10 to 6, and he's like, well, you might need to wait a while. I think we were seated by 5 after 6 or 10 after 6. That was us waiting a while. Yeah. Which... Out of the pouring rain at the time. Mm. So, like, you just have to be... He's like, you just can't go anywhere. And I'm like, that's... Or one of you has to stay. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll stay. We'll, it's we'll fine. sit in the atrium and... Uh, yeah, but so it helps. And then we sat down and they had started distributing the New Year's hats at that point. It was great. And, and it we, was... we saw them Yeah, so down. that was fun. And they were all cheering and stuff. Um, so to get waterfront, you ask. That's it. You'd be willing to wait there. And you be a small group. Mm. And you be nice and polite it's still luck of the draw but you do those things you're a heck of a lot more guaranteed now that doesn't help you if you're a group of 10 mind you i get that but like just, that's it i mean if you're a group of 10 you're not sitting waterfront because there's no group of 10 tables exactly. by water, the exactly. waterfront there's yeah so it's just that's <laughs> that's all there is to there's it. four max so like, that is yeah. that is a good that is a good secondary thing because that was almost mine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i might want to change mine to that actually <laughs> because now that i'm thinking about it i don't want it to get bigger by taking over splash mountain <laughs> And I don't, I, I, I was thinking Rivers of America. Yes, yeah, so I changed your mind. Well, I was, I was literally thinking like move out to Rivers of America. You could have some cool street musicians really embrace that, you know, right along that walkway there and by the yes, promenade, more, make more of more a promenade. Like Mar Mardi Gras music yeah, for sure. Right. So that's kind of what I was picturing. But I think a little, little bit of brass Mardi Gras exactly. style. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. But I am worried about the seeping over into Critter Country. It's, gonna, so... it's super going to happen. Don't worry oh, about I know. that. So let's go Blue Bayou. Okay, I've, I've waffled on that. You've convinced me. Toontown. This is tough because we haven't been to the reimagined one. Oh, I'm going first on this oh, one. Oh, okay. Oh, Toontown bothers me so much. Do it. New Toontown has, yes. done, has done a pretty good job. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the, my least favorite thing about Toontown is Roger Rabbit Erasure. Oh, yes, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Uh, uh, you love Roger Rabbit and there's not enough Roger Rabbit. The whole thing is it's a place where Toons live. And th th that was Roger Rabbit. Like, y y you need it needs to be themed around Roger Rabbit. It's not, it's not like Mickey Mouse lives in Toontown. Yes. And it is Disneyland. Yes. Mm -hmm. But... Roger Rabbit needs to be just as important. Well, he needs to be more important than he is right now, yeah, anyway. Like, which is nothing so, other than one ride. We've that talked they, before uh, about the Disney sing along songs, and they had a Disneyland one in the 90s. I think I played you a couple clips. That was the super fabulous rap about Splash Mountain. When, well, when Roger Rabbit was popular. But that's the thing. Roger Rabbit was one of the main ones. They had, like,. Oh, you know, they had the Five Five, of course, and then they'd have Roger Rabbit in all of the, like, main group scenes because they were pulling in and really leaning into that. Don't. I'm, I'm not down with Roger Rabbit erasure. That's. Okay. Mine is the lineup for Gadget's Go Coaster because it is a very, very long lineup and the ride is very, very short. I think they just need to run you through twice and then I'd be happy. Because but, I like it. It's a great little. Yeah, yeah, guess what? Your lineup would be twice as long then. <laughs> Um, it's a great little coaster. It's, um, just a, like, I get lineups at Disneyland happen. I get it. But, like, that is the only one where I'm like, this doesn't make sense for the length of time of the ride. And this might be a controversial opinion, but they need to move. I'm still calling it Gadget's Go Coaster, but you know what I mean. They need to move the lightning lane from Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin to Gadget's Go Coaster. What? Explain this. Well, so you can get a fast pass. Then. Oh, and you don't think Cartoon Spin is? It's it's a dark ride. You could pr like without it, it would probably be fine. It probably okay. loads faster. Okay. Gadget's Go Coaster is more like a Goofy Sky School. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I mean, it's not like the individual crazy or just add it. Like I, I don't know. I'm not probably not gonna ever go on Gadget's Go Coaster unless there's a unless it's really yeah. small. Like I don't know. Okay. Um. Oh, we're gonna head to Critter Country. Least favorite thing in Critter Country. That it's a dead end. Fair. Because it is. It it's, is, it's yeah. It's a dead end. It is. And it, it feels very disjointed. Mm-hmm. Cut off and forgotten. Yeah. Which is how even when it's busy, the lineup for the Winnie the Pooh ride is very small. <laughs> yeah. Like, if Winnie the Pooh ride was in Fantasyland, it would be, it would be as lined up as Mr. Toad's. Or more. Or more. I think it'd be more on the line of Alice. It's it's probably a little faster than Alice. Mm -hmm. I would say I don't know. Like it's not Peter Pan. Alice is just I know the second most typically. Because Alice is still a little slow. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, like it's just it's just cut off and and okay. by itself, and that's what I don't like about it. It it feels like an afterthought, I guess. I don't know what to say about Critter Country. I'm not going to lie, because my my problem is this idea of it being an afterthought. It's because it's the transition is wonky. I know what you're thinking about Critter Country What is. am I thinking? Piglet's not there enough. Not there enough. There are sometimes, but very rarely. Why does... This is just... This is a complaint I have about Winnie the Pooh merch and every theming and everything with Disney. Everyone loves Tigger. I get it. Everyone loves Eeyore. I get it. Everyone obviously loves Winnie the Pooh. I get it. I'm very happy to meet all of those ones. At Christmas time, we went. I Winnie put a Pooh. quarter in her, and she's <laughs> gonna go on this forever. No, it's fine. Just a few minutes more. Um, we met Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore, and they were in their Christmas outfits, and it was really cute, and I loved them forever. Where's Piglet? Why does Piglet not get any love? He is the cutest, and he's the bravest, and he had his movie and everything. He's really cute, and nobody loves him enough. To be fair, I was I was just gonna say that it was a weird transition between New Orleans Square and Critter Country. It's, it's Piglet. It's pig, Piglet. Okay. The lack of Piglet. Yes. Well, okay. So, full transparency, Splash Mountain is like. Was I always was like my favorite ride. Um, it's obviously down. It's getting rethemed. I have said I am really glad I got to ride it. Not only one more time, like a bunch more times. I didn't think it was gonna get to happen. And got, um, got, I am. We got really wet. Yeah. And it was cold. <laughs> and but we many times we suffered through it twice yes. back to back. <laughs> um, I am reserving all judgments until I ride the new one. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. That that's not that's, it. that's not a problem with Critter Country right now. Nope. So so we're just gonna ignore Splash Mountain in general. Like if you went right now, the main problem with Critter Country would be all the walls that are up. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, yes, but that's I like temporary, it. Thank so. you because I literally was complaining like two days ago about Piglet not being at Critter Country enough. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's fair. I, 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 <laughs> you know, you live with. I'll it. I'll do both of ours from now <laughs> on. I guess I don't know. Well, we only have one left. Okay. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Hmm. Least favorite thing. Okay. Uh, you go first? No, because I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I lied. I lied. Okay. So, you know how there's wait times mm -hmm. posted for different things? Is this what you're going to say? No. No? Okay. I'm just I'm just agreeing with you. Yeah, so, I know how there's wait times. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that, that's, that's, so, a, that's an obvious thing. Yes. There's Smuggler's Run on Millennium Falcon and <laughs> Smuggler's Run uh -huh. has the most random wait times in the entire park. Something will be like, we saw it at Christmas where or New Year's um, where Rise was like 90 minute wait. And you're like, yeah, OK, it's like busy. That ma that tracks. That makes sense. And then you look and it's like Smuggler's Run 120 minutes. And you're like, what? Like, I don't I don't understand. The best part about Smuggler's Run, honestly, is the queue. That doesn't mean I want to wait in 120 minute lineup for it. Um, it, it is it is random. Right. It is so random. The queue is really, really cool. Um, I've never been the pilot, which is fine. What's the middle one? I thought you were the pilot. I thought we did the pilot once and you were really bad. Oh, no, that's true. I was the last time. The very last time we wrote, I was the pilot. Yeah. I was terrible. You were really bad. So bad. I blocked it from my memory. Yeah, okay. Um, the middle one is my favorite I've one. Been, I've been the pilot twice and once 
once was with my gamer bro. Yeah, you and guys once were was, amazing. Once with was with you and <laughs> those uh, were very different experiences. Very different experiences. But so it isn't even that. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't like to be the what's the one at the back. Engineer. I don't like to be that because I actually get really bad motion sick really badly motion sick and that when you're like you have to look at the buttons yeah because so they light up much. differently yeah. whereas the gunner you, you can not yeah, look so and just that's push my the preference because i need to watch up front yeah and i can just do They're that i know the gunner is like boring but They're i both prefer boring. that um but it's the it's the like when i say the line i don't mean the cue because the cue itself is very very cool it's awesome in fact it is the length of the line mm. that is so variable and doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, honestly, it's enough. It's enough for you to want to join the rebellion, probably. <laughs> Might be. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Your least favorite thing about your favorite land? I know it's your favorite land. Uh, it's too small. It should be bigger. Like. It is quite a fair size <laughs> land. I. I uh, you don't no. care. You want more? I want more. It's. Like, when so, someone asks if you want more Star Wars, you say yes. <laughs> so, um, when Tiana's, wh when the reimagining of Splash Mountain to Tiana's was first announced, and they said, well, it's going to be New Orleans, the big talk was, of course, as we've said, New Orleans Square moving over and taking over Splash Mountain. And then they're like, but what do we do now? We've said keep it Pooh Corner. Pooh Corner works. But a lot of people have said you expand Galaxy's Edge that way. Mm hmm. And it becomes Endor esque. Endor esque, yeah. Yeah. And, and then I'm like, okay, like, it's cool and I like it. I just think Winnie the Pooh needs its own little moment. Yeah. Because also there's like, the, there's dominoes to that, right? Like, if you did that, you're not losing the Winnie the Pooh ride, but you're sure probably going to lose Mr. Toad's. Yeah. Winnie, they'll move Winnie the Pooh to Mr. Toad's. And I have like a problem they did in Disney with World. that yeah, because no. I love Mr. Toad's. No. So. Okay. I'll be a little more specific than, like, more Star Wars. Good call. Um,. I'm very sad that they didn't go all in with like the full mm. interactive mm -hmm. character in in character. They have all these things like uh, bright suns and and all that. They almost never use them, and they never use them. It was originally designed as like an uh, like an interactive in character thing yeah. that they did. They ended up doing with the Star Wars Hotel, which then but it failed. was too too expensive. Yeah. I would love to kind of just role play a little bit. I, I've gone into the stores and be like, "Oh no, that's off world," and st like I, I have yes, said that. Yes, I know. Um, and then they, they're great with it and they do they, it. But they, the cast I want members are great. Them it, to do it. The, the cast members are great. They, they play along and and they're good at it. Just it needs room to yep. to breathe and I like, and like the monetary awesome. the monetary supplements to make it actually work. Yes. Because mm -hmm. the credits. What, they need the credits. They need the credits. <laughs> that stuff is expensive. It's it's as expensive as a Death Star, I would say. So <laughs> I like that. That's an excellent thing, yeah. actually. Okay, so I went more specific. There you go. You know what? If I had to choose between my least favorite thing and your least favorite thing, I'd, st I'd probably pick yours. Hmm. But I still have a problem with mine, so it's fine. <laughs> it's not like Critter Country where you had to tell me my mm -hmm. problem. <laughs> yeah, they they blue sky real big with Galaxy's yeah. Edge, and it and it got budget cut, budget cut, budget cut, budget cut. Mm -hmm. And you can't blame it all on JPEG. <laughs> as much as they would love to. As much as they would love to. This was. Did you like being critical? I love being critical. Well, it's going to be harder next week because we're going to be doing DCA. Well, they close Superstar Limo, which is our favorite ride. So. <laughs> Shout out to our first deep dive. <laughs> what do we do for our next deep dive? Ooh, you should decide. Like people listening. Oh yes. No, okay. no one can see you point. Well, I was at, I that, that was a quiet ass. Oh, I thought you were just like me. Yay. <laughs> that was a quiet ass. And now I, I brought it up loudly. Yeah. yeah so you're gonna have to edit this whole thing. No, I'm gonna keep it. Oh my goodness. Um. Anyway, so if you have a suggestion for the attraction we should do for our second deep dive should let us know because i have some plans but maybe i'll change them hmm. not sure anyway um you can let Ch -ch 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 us know changes no no okay. no <laughs> you can let us know through our website through email or through our social media accounts we are currently on twitter facebook and instagram T twitter's broken don't it's... contact us on twitter maybe what came out today it's like you can only look at 600 posts or something the, if you're the, unverified. 
Yeah, Twitter's Twitter's broken. That's, that's the long and the short of it. Uh, Zuckerberg's gonna beat up Musk in the Coliseum, and, and then <laughs> I don't know. I was so confused. You had to show me the thing. It was so good. Uh, okay, uh, this was like actually really fun. It was like refreshing. Yeah, I like Being cynical. We're we're because we're not saying the, none of these things are bad. We can be a little negative, but it comes from a place of love. It's true. <laughs> I don't think you made any enemies, by the way. Except for the Dole Whip Except thing, for the probably. Dole Whip thing with yeah. me. And that's the worst enemy you could have made. <laughs> pineapple does not belong on pizza. Yes, it does. And it does not belong in ice Extra cream. Extra pineapple. Okay, yeah. You know what, though? You can hate it I'm going to go back to Italy where they agree with me. <laughs> by the way... Uh, you can hate it all you want because you... And I'm mo- pretty sure Italy invented food, so they're they, right. They, they did not. Do you know where Hawaiian pizza was invented? Uh, somewhere horrible. Canada. Yeah. It's Canadian. Somewhere horrible. <laughs> no, it's not. Probably Ontario. What is more Canadian on Canada Day than Hawaiian pizza? Ah, uh, Caesar. That's true. <laughs> That's Albertan, even. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, you can hate it all you want because all that actually matters is that you regularly mobile order me Dole Whips. I will do there. that. <laughs> I know you like it. And I wish I liked it because it looks and delicious. And you buy them for me. I and just that's want the a different flavor. Only thing like I want. A regular, normal, different flavor. I enjoy that we'll be walking around. You'll be like, okay, what time do you want your Dole Whip today? <laughs> that is what I like. So. You can hate them all you want. Just make a water, like a standard watermelon. That's, that's nope. tropical. What Watermelons are tropical? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that is our show. It Thank is, you, El Mule, yeah. who's responsible for the custom theme song you heard at the top of the show. So speaking of our website, where uh, we talked about email, we talked about Twitter, we talked about Instagram, we talked about Facebook, and then we said ignore us on Twitter, basically. Yeah. Because no. it's dying. Um, you can also find a link to El Mule's of his website, all his work and all his shows and all that fun stuff. You can also find us on our YouTube channel, Adventures A. Hey, um, I've got some uh, travel prep coming. Yeah. We're going to travel, so. Because we're going to travel. You should probably prep for we that. Should. I, I would imagine. We have not yet. It is a matter of days. 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 And our YouTube channel is Adventures A. If you've rated or reviewed our podcast, thank you. And if you haven't yet, you totally should. Yeah. Uh, or All you people that we just were talking about, especially if you're in pick a random, Beverly. I'm going to pick a random city that there's a listener from, and I'm going to talk about you. So <laughs> It's true. I mean, that, that's kind of cool, actually. Actually, it's kind of cool. I uh, like that. I want to go to Beverly now. Yeah, Beverly looks like a pretty cool little... Uh, little New England town? Little Absolutely. coastal town, yeah. So, next episode, I already said, we're going to do this all over again, but for DCA. It's a little I, trickier because I feel like the lands are less. There's less lands and they're less defined. Less defined. Um, I have, I, I have I, some I thoughts. Some I, know I you have do. some I know thoughts. You do. Yeah, okay. okay. We can do it. All we right, can make right, it work. All right, all right. So until the next adventure, I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. And TTFN ta ta for now. Thanks for listening to Disney A. Eh? I put a quarter in her and she's (laughs) going to go on this forever.